Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and these are some kidnapping romances. You can also call them like capture captive romances. This is when one of the people in the couple ends up kidnapping the other person and they end up falling in love with them, obviously. Um, I do have one previous recommendation video with this trope, so I'll link that down below if you want more recommendations. But here are 10 books with the kidnapping trope. And I also wanna preface, I do not support kidnapping, obviously in real life. Like, no, that is out of the question. Um, these are just sometimes really fun to read in books, in books. Like they are not real. They are not real, not happening. The first one that I have is Hooked by Emily McIntyre. This is a Peter Pan retelling um, where our heroine here, Wendy Darling, is actually the daughter to Peter Pan, who is this very dangerous man. And he has um, gone into a rivalry with Hook, if you will. And Hook ends up bumping into Wendy, I think at a bar one night, and realizes that that is Peter's daughter. And he then thinks that Wendy has been lying to him the whole time that they've been talking to each other and seeing each other and thinks that she's been spying on him and stuff like that. When in actuality, she has no idea what he's talking about. He actually kidnaps her and is going to torture the information out of her plans on doing that. Um, but his heart has other plans. So this book is quite dark. There's trigger warnings in here for violence, breath play, murder, death, kidnapping, torture, assault, and child abuse. But it has some of my favorite tropes in it at the same time. It has like, I love everyone in the world but you, like enemies to lovers, uh, touch her and die to the extreme. Um, so yeah, even though he thinks that Wendy betrayed him, he cannot help but like fall for her. It gets a little even more complicated when she realizes she has nothing to do with her father and what her father has done to him. Another dark one, this one's dark, this whole series. I haven't finished this series. I don't know if I'm gonna finish this series because I felt like in book number two, this hero was just being gruesome to be gruesome. There was no like, reason behind it which is just like eh, to me you know but this first one was good it had me completely hooked this is until tomorrow comes by adelaide forest the first book in the beauty and lies series i think there's three or four books all about the same couple the hero of the story is this very notoriously known mafia boss from ibiza he's known for torturing unaliving people he has his name out there okay and uh he goes to america one day to visit some of his um like partners and whatnot in america and he steps out of his car and sees a young woman across the street walking with her friend down the sidewalk and immediately has a claim on her. He takes one look at her and is like, that's my woman. He's never thought he would like be monogamously into somebody before that point. But from one glimpse of this woman, he's like, up. Oh, that she's mine. He does some investigating, um, figures out who this girl is and she's actually a girl. She's underage, she's like 16 and he's gonna wait and bide his time until she's 18 and sink his claws into her. Um, he ends up making this elaborate scheme to get her to come to Ibiza, what she thinks is like a trip that she's won or whatnot, is going to convince her to fall in love with him while on the trip. And uh, when she tells him like, I cannot stay in Ibiza, I don't know you. We've been on each other for a few days. Like what is going on? He ends up kidnapping her and can't believe that she does not love him back. Well, dude, she's only known you for a few days. You've known her for years. You've been watching her for years. So he's a little upset this woman does not love him back, <laughs> but she barely knows him. But anyways, she ends up falling in love with the man who uh, kidnapped her. He ends up kidnapping her, keeping her in Ibiza with him. So yeah, this book does get pretty dark. So please be aware. A fantasy romance that I have is Prize of the Warlord by um, Rebecca F. Kenny. This says this is the third book in a series. I've never read the other books in the series and they are complete standalones, by the way. Exania is our heroine in here. She is a very sickly woman, um, especially in a fantasy realm. You don't really read about disabled or chronically ill characters in, dis in fantasy romance books. And so I really love the representation. It's never explicitly stated in the book because it's a fantasy book, but I'm pretty sure she has asthma, IBS, and has a dairy allergy. So I just, I love seeing that representation in a fantasy book, like you never see that. Anyway, so she gets kidnapped um, from her family home by a rivaling warlord named Cronin. He kidnaps her in hopes of ransoming her to her father because her father ended up taking some of Cronin and his people's land and he's gonna ransom her for the land. While waiting for negotiations and whatnot, Exania gets to know Cronin and his people and ends up falling for her captor. This one's a very unique fantasy romance, I feel like. 
Um, it's pretty quick, quick read. So I do recommend this one if you want a fantasy romance with a kidnapping trope. Ruby Dixon has this trope in a lot of her books, but one that is like super iconic is obviously Barbarian Alien, which is book number two in the series, the romance between Liz and Rahash. Rahash is kind of like the spark for why a bunch of the other alien men kidnap women. <laughs> like he's he's like the spark okay um so you could all say it's his fault that a bunch of human women after them end up getting kidnapped okay so um Rahash and Liz you read about Liz and her people her human women a part of her group in book number one their spaceship ends up crashing on this planet called that they've deemed not Toth <laughs> and it's like an ice planet filled with snow and they end up meeting these Sukui aliens who um, are aliens that live on the planet, these blue aliens. A lot of their women have died out due to a sickness in the past few years. And so a lot of them are males and they don't have females and there's fate of mates involved and all that stuff. So Liz and Rahash from the get-go don't get along with Amy. Um, and when Liz gets implanted with a, you need to have a symbiote in your body in order to live on the planet or you could die. And so while her body is taking in this symbiote and she's like passed out, he ends up kidnapping Liz because he finds out pretty quick while she's passed out, oh my gosh, she's actually my fated maid. So he ends up kidnapping her <laughs> and taking her to a cave and trying to convince her that they are fated mates and she's not having it. This woman is so stubborn, probably one of the st most stubborn characters I've ever read about ever. Um, but I love her because he's stubborn as well. Like they are so well matched. All Rahash has wanted all of his life is to have somebody in his life. Um, his father was not the best to him and his mother and all he's wanted is his fated mate. And um, he's gonna convince Liz like, we are destined to be together. Even though I kidnapped you, it's okay. This means I love you. <laughs> A paranormal one is Wicked Abyss by Cressley Cole. This is one of my favorite Cressley Cole books. This is book number 17 in the Immortals After Dark series. You technically could read any of these books as standalones if you wanted to. I got a lot of enjoyment out of reading them in order, um, especially when it comes to like world building and the lore and everything like that involved with these paranormal creatures. So this is book number 17 in the Immortals After Dark series. This series is all about like mythical, like lore creatures. You have Valkyries, you have vampires, lichens, there's sorceresses, witches, kind of like an oracle of sorts. This is one of my favorite books in this series. I absolutely love it. All these books, by the way, are also fueled by the fate of mate trope. So our hero in here believes that he found his fate of mate like years ago and she betrayed him in one of the worst ways possible. He is this lore creature that kind of like rules underneath a um, underworld realm and he essentially like looks like what our typical Satan would look like. He has red skin, the horns, the tail, everything and um, he's always like cursed his fated maid's name, like thinks that she's betrayed him in like the worst way possible. He then finds out that that woman has been reincarnated and he ends up finding her and kidnapping her and taking her and locking her away in a tower in his realm. I can't specifically remember what Calliope the heroine like is. She's either like a fae or an elf or a witch. Like I can't remember specifically and the summary doesn't say it. I didn't write it down. But anyway, she ends up getting kidnapped by C in the hero and is so lost. She's like, what is going on? Um, why is this man kidnapping me? She's trying with all of her might to escape. And she has no idea what Sian's talking about. He's like, you betrayed me. I hate you, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna make you pay. And she's like, who are you? I don't know who you are. She has no idea she's the reincarnation of somebody. It is so good. I love this one so much. It's one of my favorite paranormal romance books ever. It gives me huge Hades and Persephone vibes. If you love Hades and Persephone books, like please read this one. Sea of Rome by Pam Godwin also has this trope. I really enjoy this book. I read this one last year. And this one is like a pirate-ish romance. So I hear another story is the daughter to a very um, well-known pirate king. Her name is Bennett and uh, she is trying to escape a man. A man is trying to track her down and find her who happens to be her husband. Um, but right as her husband finds her, she gets kidnapped by a pirate hunter named Ashley. And he hates pirates with all of his being, um, but then uh, he ends up kidnapping her, keeping her in his in his uh, living area on the ship, on his ship. Um, and so her husband's trying to find her and track her down as well. And um, yeah, you have these two men absolutely obsessed with Bennett. Not in the best way, honestly. <laughs> um, so one of the men in the situation actually kidnaps her. So it's her falling for her captor and him falling in love with her. But then there's also the added aspect of her husband who she also like loves at the same time. So there's a lot going on in this one. This book is like one of the darkest books ever. There's on page SA. So please be aware of that. Like it 
it's happened it happens a few times in this book a historical that i have that i loved last year was lady ruthless by scarlett scott this is the first book in her notorious ladies of london series this book starts out with our heroine calliope being kidnapped like that's the first page is her getting kidnapped by lord sin our hero that is because lord sin found out that lady calliope has been writing these awful articles about him so um these articles are kind of like the called the sins of lord sin it all takes place in like first person where you think lord sin is recounting and telling everyone about um all the horrible debauched things sin sin sinful things that he's done like killed people slept with um husbands wives and stuff but he's never done any of those things he's like i haven't done those things like what is going on? None of the women of the ton will speak to him. He's been like ostracized from like clubs and everything. Like no one will talk to him because they think these things are true. Um, he ends up finding out who's been writing them and it's Lady Calliope. So he ends up kidnapping her and telling like her, you owe me. Uh, you ended up writing all these things about me that aren't true. And so as repayment, you're gonna be stuck in my, one of my states until you agree to be my wife. Like you're gonna be chained to this bed. I'm gonna lock you in here. And uh, you're not leaving until you agree to be my wife because no one else will marry me and I need a wife. It's their romance. It's so good. It's one of my favorite books of last year. If you want a novella, I have The Mobster's Masseuse by Jessica Kane, a little Jessica Kane novella. The hero of the story is a mafia boss and um, one of his men um, who he like secretly like adores, like loves him like a brother, ends up booking him with a masseuse and like doesn't want to hurt his feelings by saying like, I'm not going to that. Um, so he ends up actually going to it. And the woman who gives him a massage, he is smitten with her right from the get-go she doesn't know that he's a mafia boss and he ends up kidnapping her and um like basically saying like oh you're gonna be mine like it's inevitable like like you're gonna be mine it's fine and that's like it that's like a jessica novella for you <laughs> short sweet like that's all there is to it um so if you want a short quick mafia romance read you can pick this one up and lastly i have two monster romance novellas if you would like to pick those up first is veer idios veer idios veridios sorry this one is always a tongue twister for me um this is a alien like monster romance book so our heroine is a scientist on this planet and is studying like the life on the planet and then she comes across this giant tree creature think Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy the author literally said like she was inspired by Groot to make this character he ends up across this little creature and he's very lonely and so he picks her up and kidnaps her and keeps her in like this uh cage that he built because he's like oh that's your home now you're gonna stay with me but <laughs> he doesn't really understand like she's not there willingly and there's also a language barrier so it's really hard for them to communicate and stuff like that so this is a romance between the two of them and i just want to leave it at that they end up falling for each other and then the other one that is absolutely so funny i was laughing my butt off is the ogre's pet by cassandra cross the heroine of the story ends up getting kidnapped by an ogre in the woods and the ogre has been rumored to like eat people he doesn't eat the heroine in a normal way you know what i mean so <laughs> it's funny this book is so funny but yeah he kidnaps her from the woods and he keeps her in his cave there's nothing much else to it it's really funny um, to me, it was funny. Anyways, there you have it. Those are 10 romances with the kidnapping trope. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me any plant emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see you all soon in my next one. Bye, y'all.